y'all finally I am done with this video <laughs> done making this video <laughs> oh my goodness I started this video about a month and a half ago um, it started about the first week in February I mean I'm sorry the first week in January and um, whew, this thing was turning into a project <laughs> I initially started off with five tips but then I kept remembering all of the different things that I incorporate into my regimen every, you know, every week, every month. And I kept building and building until I got to at least 10 tips. These tips are tips that have worked for me over the years. Um, I'm not saying that they are the end-all, be-all to growing longer, stronger, healthier hair. Um, they are just tips. What works for me may not work for you, so keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully some of you are already incorporating some of these uh, reg these tips into your, your regimen, which means it's great because you're already ahead of the game. Um, if not, hopefully you'll find one or two tips that you may find beneficial. Um, through trial and error and time and experience, I, find, I have found that these tips um, were most successful for me. So kick back, enjoy the video. I worked hard on it. And let's grow some hair, ladies. Let's grow some longer, stronger, and healthier hair. Right. My videos are pretty reflective of what I do to my hair. Um, I gotta say, though, there is no secret potion. There is a secret strategy. There isn't a secret um, technique. You know, you can moisturize and seal and wear protective styles all you want. Uh, hair growth, it's internal. It's, bio, it's a biological process. So it starts with your diet. Right, what you put into your body is going to be reflective of your hair, your skin, your nails. So it starts with a healthy diet. You have to, um, for me, I eat salmon and tuna, beans and fit. I eat this stuff almost every day. I don't eat meat. So that is my only way of getting protein and, you know, getting the nutrients that I need and I can tell the difference in my hair. You are what you eat. Now, I'm not endorsing salmon. I'm not telling you guys to go out and buy it or eat it. I'm just telling you that when I incorporate a lot of um, fish into my diet, it's reflective of my hair. So the number two thing on my list for getting stronger, longer, healthier hair is trimming. I am definitely for cutting your ends. I cannot stand hair that is waist length, below bra strap level, and the ends are frayed and are thin and they just look unhealthy. I like a blunt cut. I like my ends to be straight. So getting really healthy hair starts with your ends. You have to give yourself a really good trim first. Cut those ends. Don't be afraid your hair grows back. It's just hair, y'all. Don't be afraid of cutting your ends. Cut your ends. Your ends look horrible. I've seen videos where girls have beautiful hair, but their ends look a mess. <laughs> I'm serious. So, you're, so trim your ends. <laughs> I am all about healthy hair you know I try to deep condition which I am an advocate of sitting under that dryer putting that plastic cap on and giving your hair that extra 30 minutes 40 minutes for that deep penetrating conditioner I don't care what kind of conditioner you use get up under that dryer <laughs> it works I'm telling you And in the next clip, I'm going to show you how I moisturize my hair and how I apply the plastic to the ends. The point of the plastic is to keep the ends moisturized, keep all of the moisture, uh, whatever moisturizer you decide to use. Keep that inside the plastic, keep the hair sealed, keep it conditioned. Don't let the elements get to your hair. 
and it the point is to not have to moisturize your hair every single day because at the end of the week the end of the two weeks when you take the plastic off your hair is my hair is still moisturized and greasy and that means that the conditioner and the oil you know that I applied stayed on the hair so stay tuned and I will show you how I protect my hair So the number four thing on my list to getting stronger, healthier hair, stronger, longer, healthier hair would be wearing protective styles. I am a faithful, faithful wearer of uh, protective styles. I own many wigs, many hair pieces. Although my username is Sister with Real Hair, I still appreciate um, stock, you know the variety um, of all the different wigs and you know things that are out there that you know will help protect my hair. So right now I'm wearing one of my favorite protective styles. This is my favorite wig. And um, it helps keep my hair moisturized and protected because underneath this wig, my hair, the ends are protected. I keep plastic around the ends 
because it's it's sealed in with a uh, grapeseed oil and it keeps my hair very moisturized I don't even have to comb my hair or do anything to my hair for two weeks so that goes up underneath the protective style and you have an instant hairstyle so make sure you protect your hair and So my next tip to getting longer, stronger, healthier hair is detangling in the shower. Um, you know, the water combined with the conditioner helps, you know, less with the less tension, less friction. Um, I think the water helps the, the comb, you know, glide through a lot easier. And I also use a wide tooth comb as you have seen in a previous video when I was detangling my hair. So, to tangle in the shower, you'll find that it's a lot easier if you're not already doing it. And I think it causes less breakage and just less stress on the hair. So, tangle in the shower and I think you'll see a difference. Alright, on to the next tip. moisturizing it is so essential to moisturize your hair very often as often as like once a day if you can I try to do it two to three times a week sometimes four times a week and when I moisturize y'all as you will see in the very next clip I saturate my hair moisturizer I drown my, my scalp is soaked in moisturizer I mean if I'm wearing a protective style I drench my hair in cocoa cocoa butter I mean coconut oil grapeseed oil, olive oil, um, and my hair loves oil. Some people hate oil. My hair loves oil. Because if your hair is dry and brittle, it's going to break. So keep your hair moisturized.
So the number ninth tip on my list for getting longer, stronger, healthier hair would be low manipulation. Less is best. Less you do to your hair, the more it's going to grow. I only wash my hair once a month, deep condition once a month, flat iron once a month, trim once a month. That's it. And you know, I'm not a product junkie. I have, a, you, you've seen my products. I have coconut oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, and uh, maybe a few other oils. That's it. So, you know, all of these extra products, you know, I, I kind of think they work against each other. You know, I think you should just find one or two products that work well for your hair and stick with it. And, you know, I think if you just leave your hair alone, over time you will see the results and you will see less actually is best. So that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some beneficial information out of it. So as a side note, I just want to let you guys know that my three month no heat challenge, no flat ironing, no trimming, um, that challenge has officially ended February 1st. So yes, I'm very proud of myself. I made it through three months without flat ironing or trimming my hair. I am one of those naturals that enjoy flat ironing and putting heat in my hair. So I wanted to see if I could actually go three months without, without doing it. And I did it. I'm going to give myself one of the most spectacular roller sets I've ever given myself. I'm extremely excited about flat ironing my hair again. I even bought me some new rollers. I bought me a new dryer, which is spectacular. This dryer, there will be no more three hours of sitting under the dryer. This dryer is unbelievable. I'm kicking myself for not purchasing a new dryer sooner. I'm excited to see how much growth I have um, retained over the months. So let's see, it's been since November since I cut my hair, since I last trimmed my hair. So it's been November, December, January, February, March, April. We're going to say April because it's going to be closer to May, March 21st. So we're going to say five months. It's going to be five months of growth um, since my last trim. So I'm going to do a official length check. I did a length check in November, but it wasn't a very detailed one. Um, I really didn't know what I was doing. It was the first time I've ever <laughs> measured my hair. And apparently, according to all the messages I got, I did it wrong. So I'm going to do the side, the middle, and the back. I'm going to be doing a whole series on the roller set, the highlights, the length check, the trimming, everything. So stay tuned for that. I don't have that much time to put out a lot of videos. I do it when time permits. So I'm hoping that um, I will have a little bit more time to devote to uploading a little, you know, a few more videos um, a little bit more often. So I'm excited. I'm excited for my upcoming hairstyles, and you know, summer's going to be right around the corner. So I have some great summer hairstyles in, in mind for naturals and people that are relaxed and you know just everyone so thanks for tuning in thanks for all of my subbies happy valentine's day everyone and i hope to see you soon see you on next video